what is going on ladies and gentlemen this is crossy plays here and we're back with an lspdfr episode we're gonna do a little speed enforcement today with the california highway patrol um i haven't done any lspdfr content for quite some time so bear with me um if you laugh that's great if you make fun of me i don't care it's fine um but we're gonna get right into it and do little bit of speed enforcement like as I mentioned and uh, get on over to the highway we've already told dispatch we are available um, we on our way over there we won't take any calls or anything like that just gonna go do some speed enforcement get our feet wet again I have been playing it a little bit in the background some and just haven't really done any content in quite a bit on this particular game if you're new to the channel though, please hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, um, definitely hit that bell for all notifications so you do know when I do go live or post new content. I am um, doing uh, the recorded video, you know, uploaded video kind of thing going on right now. We're gonna do some speed enforcement here. We got looks like we already probably got some speeders out there, I'm sure. But uh Yeah. Well let's go ahead and get right into it. Um when, a, when this video when this video drops, um definitely let me know what you think in the comments. I'm I wanna do something a little a uh, little something like this today bring this back uh because i as i have to get ready for work a little bit we do have adult lives none of us can live off youtube money okay i'm just kidding i don't know anyway i digress Let's get uh, let's get right into it. Uh, now I am gonna use speed radar light for this one. Um, for me, it seems the most. Uh, I do like the prowler, but uh, we're gonna do uh, 55 and above. Oh, and we've already got oh 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 shit! They're just flying, aren't they? Huh? Hold up. Going after my first one here. Hold on. This one needs to come up behind me. Right here. We clocked this one going at, uh, I think it was 73, 72, something like that. Get him pulled over, huh? Maybe people would stop uh, going so fast. Dispatch, go ahead and show me on a 1011 uh, westbound Interstate 2. Gonna be a gray slate color two door coupe, occupied times one. Recognition rate. That's pretty cool. The confidence rate. Well, it's all green, so I guess that's good. I don't see that. I've seen that before. I'm not really sure. I guess it's how it picks up your voice. 
I suppose. I don't know. Uh, request some plate check. 25 Union Young King 904. Target license plate 25 Union Young King 904. A warrant issued. Approach with caution. Oh, so we got a warrant on this uh, Ricky Reed. He's got a Zion. That's the car. Uh, I can't remember all the car names. 10 4. How are you this afternoon? Be good, I guess. Any idea why I stopped you just now? I promise you don't care. No, you don't think I care? You don't you don't care, do you? Alright. Well, I don't really care if you don't care, but I'm gonna tell you why, so. I uh, clocked you going uh, 10 to 50 miles over. It was about 72. Uh, the limit is 55 and above. Uh, well, at, at least 55. You don't even know the speed limit, do you? No, I know the speed limit. That's not what's important right now. Let's see, you're wearing your seatbelt. All right, good. I'm, I'm glad to see that you're protecting yourself. Yeah, I always, I always wear my seatbelt. Well, it is the law, and I also don't want you to get hurt. You're absolutely right. So, uh, where are you headed? Hoping to visit the dealership and trade in this bucket. Trade in this bucket? What's wrong with this bucket? It's a nice car. It's a two-door coupe. Zion, right? Something like that. Where are you coming from? Just a couple blocks down the road. All right, all right. Let me go ahead and start by getting your license, proof, you and registration, please. All right, I appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, if you don't mind, just hang out for me here, okay? Not sure what else I could do. Alright then. Be right back. So we already know he's got a warrant. And we just want to check and see what that exactly is. We're going to look up here in the computer system really quick. We got Ricky Reed. All right, so we got this 24. He lives on Cox Way. <laughs> it's got an outstanding warrant for contempt non-payment of child support. All right. Go ahead and get him wrote up for his speeding. Actually, we are not. Not as of yet. I wanted to check all that. We can get all that here in just a moment. Oh, hold up. Dispatch requesting traffic stop back up. Backup needed in Del Perro. We're gonna get some backup here. Since this guy has a warrant, we don't want him running.
All right, start with the weight. Uh, here's your stuff back. No other units set up, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, yep. I was really hoping another person wouldn't even show up, man. Um, why don't you step out of the vehicle for me? Come on. I need to talk to you, man. Hater. Me over here. Say you know, I'm Trooper Cross. I had Trooper Cross. Just want to know, uh, you ever been in trouble with the police before? I resisted, uh, arrest once, man. Are you aware of any outstanding warrants? I knew this day would catch up with me. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have an active warrant for uh, la lack of child support. Please. I really don't have time for this today, man. Well, um... Just so you know, you will be arrested. You'll be placed under arrest for that. I do have to take you in for your warrant. And I'll also be citing you for the speeding today. Just know I'll try to fight it. Well, you're more than free to fight it. Uh, with the, having said that, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and turn around for me. Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, you piece of crap. Get these cuffs do that now. Oh, they're just tight enough there, buddy. They are tight enough, buddy. Alright, let me go ahead and pat you down here. You're not going to have anything that's going to stick me, stab me, poke me, jab me. What's this? You got a few tablets and a plastic container and a... Looks like some brown powder, huh? Is this going to be narcotics? I'm going to test this. Uh, I don't really know. I'm gonna be testing that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I, I don't believe these locals. I swear to God. What the heck? What in the heck is going on? I mean, shit. Why don't you just uh, hang tight right there? You can't really go nowhere anyway, so. Watch him.
So he was he was honest about the resisting arrest, where he's been in trouble with the police before. So that so that was. So he at least was honest with that, and he's been pretty cooperative. Um, fairly cooperative. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the. Uh, let's go ahead and get the citation on there. He will have his notice to appear. Okay. There we go. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway. Um his arrest warrant and um, let me know if you would do this differently but I've always found that even though it says the arrest warrant in the system technically IRL they would go ahead and put the charge on them right with the arrest warrant but I in this I go ahead and place it on them that way because it is an arrest warrant the charge hasn't actually been um, processed officially, so I go ahead and go ahead and do that. So he will get his misdemeanor and his citation for the unlawful speed. Now, we also have some things to test as well. So we got a few tablets in a plastic container. Uh, so most likely, uh, probably going to be like PCP uh, fentanyl. Oh, so right on PCP. And he's also got a fourth gram baggie of brown powder. Um, typically heroin is the culprit behind that. And it's not this time, so we're going to check. I'm gonna go ahead and check meth because meth it can be powder, so it's not that either, and it may be some marijuana. So we're we'll check that. All right, so he's got it like a fourth gram baggie of brown powder. So if anything, I could get him for like a simple possession I think I'm gonna let the I think I'm gonna let the marijuana go on the fourth gram not really a not really a lot but we can uh, we can double check here Uh, give me just a moment, y'all. I'm just gonna check here really quick. Uh, I don't know my... I don't really know my weight in these. Yeah, so a fourth gram is like less than an ounce, so I'm not even going to get him for a simple possession. That's what I thought. I thought it wasn't a lot. I mean, to be honest with you. But he is going down for the PCP. He does have possession of PCP. Not quite enough, I would imagine, for... Um... Like trap, like trafficking or possession to intend to distribute that. He's just got a bag. He looks like some personal use. So we got that. So now he's got a felony on top of his already already warrant for his misdemeanor.
go ahead and uh, search his vehicle here. Since we did find drugs on him, I want to see if his car is clean. So he's got a duffel bag with kilo of tan powder. All right. You just uh, raking in the drugs, aren't you? Because he had a few tablets, so. But this double bag, though, with some tan powder, it may be. We'll, we'll go ahead and start that because he had that fourth gram. All right, so it's negative for that. We'll do the heroin. He might probably had a fourth gram with a kilo. All right. So we got a nice little drug bust here, huh? Schedule 1, possession of heroin, he's trafficking and possession to intent, and we're going to open that and submit charges. And it, you never know, this could have been, this whole time this could have just been a speeding problem. You know, just the issue could have just been speeding, and then come to find out he's got a warrant which now leads me to check into his shit. All right, let's get this guy uh, booked and processed. Go read him his rights and all that. All right, Mr. Reed. So, uh, I've got the citation here for you. Um, I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and hand it to you. You just I'll just stick that in your pocket, huh? Uh, that's just your copy. No need to sign or have your admission because you will have a court hearing on that. But you do have the right to make silent anything you say will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you have any questions for me at this time, and do you understand your rights? No, man, I don't want no questions. I'll be like, see it. Freaking got caught today. Well, hey, if you don't... If you do the crime, you gotta pay the time, and all it started with was, was, your, was your child support shit, you know? Um, but just so you're aware too that we also found drugs on you you uh, found a duffel bag with some uh, intent to sale some trafficking had some heroin you did have some PCP on you I'm not charging you for the marijuana it was less than an ounce so um, uh, pretty standard for the two ounces So I'm only cutting you a break on that today, but no other breaks, I'm sorry to say. But for now, you will be uh, being transported and um, be getting out of here. All right, so try to do better. Hope you can turn your life around. Assistance required in... Hello. Hello. Jack! So let's go ahead and get this, uh, let's get this toad out of here. Flatbed. Assistance required in Del Perro. We'll have this toad can pick up the Zion and be on the way.
Well, that's going to do it, y'all, for this uh, returning episode of LSPDFR. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, I do need to go ahead and get ready for work really quick. Uh, but much love, everybody. Much love. Your boy Crossy Plays coming back at you again with a returning episode of LSPDFR. Like I said, if you again, if you're new to the channel, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button hit that bell for a notification so you do know when i go live and post the new content i haven't been going live for quite some time but i do look to stream very soon so be on the lookout for that uh without further ado look in the links for the description uh check out my discord i got some uh trying to get some things going on there some more activity and everything um also if you do play 5m and you like and you like the stuff you've done or you you know you're pretty familiar or you're not familiar um you can also check out in the discord we have an uh slrp application as well uh no guarantee you can get in but i do recommend it it's a great community and it's the only 5m community i've ever been a part of so i don't have anything else to say other than that on um, far as that concerned but i definitely want to see you guys in there if you get in it absolutely um yeah, but let me know in the comments what you thought, and i uh, definitely be looking to do maybe another one soon. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Again, much love to all of you. Crossy Plays is signing off here. We out.